What is a success? And what is a failure? You know, our scholars, when they discuss this question of success and failure, they said if you examine human being in some, each and every individual, we are made up of two major attributes. I want you to please kindly pay attention. It's very simple. It's not something complicated. We are made up of two major attributes. The one they call Sifatu wa Ki'iyya. And the second one, Sifatu Nafsiya. What is Sifatu wa Ki'iyya? Simple English translation. Actual attributes. And then the second one is psychological attributes. So success and failure, they are psychological attributes. I need to pay attention to them to understand. Hence, our scholars, when they were asked, what is the definition of a success? Look at what they said. said Ibaratun alazzatin akliya. They said it refers to intellectual entertainment. What is intellectual entertainment? They said it's opposite sensory entertainment. Or sensory feeling if you like. I give an example. Say a person is very thirsty. You know, the, 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 the weather is too hot. You exhausted from work. So you come back home. Someone offers you a glass of cold water. Or a glass of orange juice. When you drink, how do you feel? You feel good. But question, how long does it last? Two hours, it will not even reach two hours. You will forget that is sensory enjoyment. But say, for instance, you're really looking for some masala, something you don't understand in Islam, or even in at your studies at work, you trying to explore different avenues to understand it. You contact that Molana or that scholar, it takes you long, but eventually you discover the truth. How do you feel? You feel good. That's success. What I'm trying to say is that success doesn't come cheap. It comes with efforts. Hence, Quran makes it very clear. Allah said, indeed, those who strive in our way, we will guide them towards our way. To be spiritual, mu'minin and mu'minat. To be God-loving. To be connected with Allah. You need to wake up in that coldness weather to pray your fajr. You need to drive from your home to come to the mosque. That's why they said to be successful, you have to ignore taste for a taste. What taste? Ignore temporary taste for permanent taste. What is temporary taste? Dunia. Permanent taste is when you connect with Allah. To become spiritual doesn't mean you become an unusual person. Wallahi, if you become spiritual, you will enjoy the essence of creation. Quran makes it very clear. Each and every individual is of his own spiritual status. What is important is just to make the effort. Keep determining. Keep making the effort. Quran is saying, Ya ayyu al-insan, inna ka kadihun ila my point is Rabbika said oh insan you are forever toiling towards your lord and the line towards your lord meaning you are of your own spiritual status I am of my own spiritual status what Allah wants to see is that we compete with one another in seeking and yearning for Allah they said the strongest instinct in every human being is the instinct of love for life. Who doesn't love life? <laughs> the more money we make, the more we want to make. <laughs> we love life. Who want to die? Only people when they get overwhelmed by troubles, by problems, forgetting Allah, that's the time say, no, 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 better I go. But otherwise, we all love life. And that is the nature of insan. But what is beautiful about Quran, and I want especially the young stars to pay attention to this. Quran beautifully comes forward and say that each and every individual depending on your age express your love for life differently 
Quran 57 verse 20 Surah Al-Hadid You know what does Allah says? Wa'lamu Annama al-hayatu dunya La'ibun Wa la'awun Wa zinatun Wa tafakhurun baynakum Wa taqafurun fil amwali wal awlaad Stop there I'm going to dissect this properly to understand what is a real success and what is a fake success and what you should fight for in your lives. Dunia is nothing number one but sports. Sport here doesn't mean football, whatever I'll explain to you. And then he says play, number two. And number three, he said beauty. And number four, he said rivalry. And number five, he said vying in multiplication of wealth and children. Now, when Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is spelling out all this as definition of dunya, Allah is trying to tell us each and every one of us has a way of expressing his love for dunya. Let's begin number one. Inna malahayatu dunya la ibon. I want to go direct translation. Indeed, the life of dunya is a play. Allah is not saying all of us we express our love for dunya by play. It's referring to children up until seven years of age. Children up until seven years of age, they express their love for life by play. You go to our homes where we have children. You, they've got small room where they've got all their playing stuff there. You take them to shopping mall. That's what they do. That is what psychologists mention. When children are up to seven, let them be. Let them play. Because if you do not let them be, you will kill their confidence. That's how they expect their love for life. Second one, Allah said, Walahun. What is lahun? Amusement. What is amusement? To consider what is primary, secondary, and what is secondary, primary. Who expressed their love for life by love? It's not children of seven years. These are teens, teenagers. Teenagers. If you have a teenager in your house, sometimes you're telling her, Baba, this is the right. No, 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 Baba, I want this. You seen this as a primary thing, the child seen it as something secondary. Or what you see secondary, the child sees it's primary. This is how they express their love for life. Third one, Allah said, Zina, beauty. Who expressed their love for dunya by this beauty? These are people 20 and above 20. Those of 20 years of age, they want the timberland. They want the, this is not by coincidence. Eh? This is the nature of the person. 20, 21, 25. That's how they express their love for life. They want something beautiful. Then Allah goes for it. I want to please pay attention. He said, Watafakhurum bainak. Allahu Akbar. And mutual rivalry, we compete. Which age? Up until 40. This one, I want to say I'm the best. That one said I'm the best. That's how we express our love for life. Mutual rivalry, we compete in every day. We go to school on campuses, we compete. Even if I wear my shoe, I want to compete with the shoe that you wear. It. If I wear my clothes, I want to compete. Allah said the last one. وَتَقَاثُرٌ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَةِ Vying in multiplication of wealth and children. This is how after 40 up until Azrael comes express their love for life. That's why our parents, when he sit here, his child come, and mashallah, he said, mercy, I feel good. Sheikh, that's my son. That's my son, that's my son. He feel good. And he look at it, Bank account, alhamdulillah, at my age, check. Shukri khuda. I don't want to complain. To Izuman Tasha. But you know, our fathers, they like that. Because at that age, after 40, what else do you want? You only look at your children and what you worked hard for it. So that's how our fathers, when they see, I've got three children, they're accomplished. That one said, I've got one child, is accomplished. That one said, I've got that company. That one said, I've got that foundation. That one said, no, no. I supported that mosque. That one said, I supported that organization. Our parents is how they express their love for life. But you know why? When they reach 40, a person starts to sense danger. Whether he will make another 40 or not. Allah, 
after 40 it's not easy to get another 40 it's not a joke after 40 to go another 40 Allah it's not easy I give you by 60 Azarail will start knocking when I reach 40 and I've got all these people start to transfer into the names of their children they make will family will listen very carefully please I've got the money I've got these two three houses I may go let him put it in the name of family foundation family name my son's name you know why because insan is thinking that when he dies his name will still continue because i know if i go to barza that name will continue kim g foundation nan g foundation what am i doing this i know i'm going to barza but i know the name will continue it's good you know why insan does that because insan is thinking that that is a success i've done it in this world i'm going to kiyama i leave it behind also i am accomplished i am successful allahu akbar quran comes forward and tells us that is a fake success it's not a real success allahu akbar oh i am a professor citizen, so i wrote so many books i'm going legacy quran comes forward and said that is a fake success i built so much mansions i've got this concert. yeah it's a success but fake where do we get that one from fake? Surah Al Imran, verse 14. Zuyina lil nasi, hubbu shahawati, mina nisa, wal banina, wal kanatir il mukantara, mina zahabi, wal fitta, wal kail il musawamati, wal arha, zalika mata ul hayati tuni. Allah tabar udala is telling us, we made it beautiful for them. Hubbu shahawati mina nisa, Allah of women. Walbanina and the love of children, Walkanadir and Mukantara and the treasures of this world from the gold, from the silver, we made it seemingly beautiful to them. But Allah said, Don't worry, these are all enjoyment of this world, but the best success is with Allah. That's why one ayah says, "Laya gurra na katakalu bal ladina kafaru fil bila mata un kalil from mama wa from jahannam wa bi sal masif." Don't be so amazed when you see a person having dunya and doing as he or she please. Allah said, "This is mata un kalil. This is something small, and then belongs to Allah." Allah, don't be amazed. Somebody has it, arrogant, chilling, enjoying. Don't worry. You try connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But now, if these are fake success, brothers and sisters, young and old, what is a real success? A real success is what Allah mentioned in Quran. فَلَنُوحِيَنَّهُ حَيَاتًا طَيِّبًا Allah said, Indeed, مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٍ Whoever does a salih, good deed, a male or a female and they are true believers Allah said Wallah, we will grant them good living question what is good living is it to live in a big mansion no I always tell people if you want to see how insan is miskin of miskin you have a big house at night you go in one small corner and sleep you don't divide yourself that's insan for you that's insane for you. We are limited by time. We are limited by space. So Hayatun Tayyiba is what? When Allah said, we'll grant them good living. Good living is istiqarar wal itma'inanun nafs. Good living and real success is sukoon and peace of mind. Allah, today there is no peace of mind in the world. And those who are in trouble are those who have amassed the entire world. Well, now you go people, they don't even have jobs. But when they go to bed, they sleep. But there are people who've got tens and thousands of world. They can't sleep at night. Good living is peace of mind. Today you find some of our youth confused. They can't decide in their lives. They try this, they stop. They try that, they stop. They try that, they stop. I said, Baba, come back to Allah. Allah will guide you. 
You know what that last is? Allah said, "Mana aarada an dikri, fa inna lahu maisha tandanak." Whoever ignore my remembrance, that person should be ready for difficult life. So, in other words, if you want to have a good life, a good living in the eye of Allah, you have to do remembrance of Allah. So, whatever you do in life, do not forget these points. Whether you are a businessman, or you are a student, or you are an Islamic scholar, or any other scholar. The bottom line is whatever you do has to lead you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If whatever you do do not lead you to Allah, then Islam doesn't regard it as fruitful.